Hey there, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. My name is Michael Gray, and today I'm playing Nancy Drew Ransom of the Seven Ships. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Okay. Go ahead and look around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book title How to Now you can check out the scrapbook, you can read up about all the uh, various different games in the Nancy Drew series. And as Nancy was saying before I interrupted her, you can check out this to learn how to play the game if you've never played one before. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mm -hmm. mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand... So that's good if you haven't played one of the Nancy Drew games before. And this is the case file where you can learn about uh, the case. Leave it to best to enter an online sweepstakes and wind up winning a five-day vacation in the Bahamas. Naturally, she invited her cousin George and me to go with her, and naturally we said yes. As luck would have it, Dad and I have to go to a father-daughter banquet on the day the vacation begins, which means I'm going to have to arrive a day late. But the ecotourism resort where we're staying sounds very cool. And the island is so remote you can only get there by float plane. White sand beaches, turquoise waters, and tropical sunshine, here we come! Alright, that sounds like a fun vacation. And click the plane ticket to start the game. You can choose either junior or senior detective. Junior Detective is a little bit easier. There are a couple of puzzles that are different depending on whether you choose Junior or Senior Detective. But don't worry, I'm going to show you the solutions for both Junior and Senior Detective mode in this video walkthrough. There it is! Red Isle! It looks so small! It takes you a while to get anywhere down there on foot, I can tell you that. Unless you're super athletic. How often do you fly charters out here? Your two friends, the ones I flew out here yesterday, they were my first passengers in weeks. Pretty isolated, huh? Granted, a lot of these places shut down during the summer on account of hurricanes. But even when it's not storm season, I guarantee you, that island down there is pretty much a ghost town. Hey, George. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, hold on. George? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Uh-oh. Come back. Come back. George, what's wrong? What are you doing? Stop. We need help. What? What's happened? Bess has been kidnapped. Oh, no. When I woke up this morning, Bess's bed hadn't been slept in, and there was no sign of her. She never came back from going to watch the sunset. Here's the note the Gibsons left. I knew I should have gone with her, but I was just so tired. This is all my fault. It is not your fault, George. The Gibsons, they're the people who own the resort? Yes, but there's no sign of them either. Uh-oh, well that's not good news. Bess is gone and the Gibsons are gone? And here, here's the note I found from the kidnappers. They obviously knew you were coming. It sure looks uh -oh. like Wonder who El Toro is. He was the Spanish captain of a fleet of seven ships that sank near Dread Isle about 300 years ago. There's something about him in those books over there. So these are the ransom demands. We're going to get to those in a couple of minutes, I believe. And we can talk to George about three different things. Let's try the last one. The Gibsons left just that one note? Yep, just the note about watching the sunset. I've been trying to get this satellite phone to work so we can call for help. So far, no luck. I feel so useless. You can do it, George. Just keep at it. In the meantime, I'm going to look around. Maybe go out to this Sangue Beach place. Bess took the only golf cart that worked. That one that's still here needs water or something. Anyway, keep me posted. Okay, so George is going to be trying to uh, get the satellite phone to work. And in the meantime, let me show you around the uh, shark diving ecotourism resort. You can walk outside here to find a sailboat. A sailboat. At least it would be one if it had sails. 
That's pretty much all you can do when you uh, walk in this direction. Now also outside we have the shed where they keep the sails. Maybe the Gibsons kept the key at the front desk. And we also have the golf cart, but it's not working right now. See, it's not turned on. It's going to be a puzzle in order to uh, fix that. So we have to go back inside and talk to George for the solution. Have you got something? Yeah, the sneaking suspicion that this whole thing, the contest best won, the trip here, the note from the Gibsons, I think it was all just a big ploy to capture one or both of you so someone could force me to find this treasure for them. That's so diabolical. Who would do something like that? Someone who doesn't much like me, maybe? Well, let's see. If we take the number of crooks you've busted in the course of solving a mystery, factor in their friends, relatives, and co-conspirators, and add to that all the people out there who don't much like anyone, we're down to what? Like a thousand people? <sighs> You're right. The only way we're going to find out who it is is by finding Bess. Hmm. Do you think the Gibsons are in on it? You know, I think that's pretty cool. Wouldn't it be interesting if this game features the triumphant return of one of the villains from one of the other games in the series? No, I don't. That would be awesome. My guess is they closed up for a couple of weeks so they could visit the mainland or something. They probably have no idea what's going on. So, Bess is gone, our cell phones don't work, and we're trespassing. The hits just keep coming. Have you by any chance seen the key to the shed outside? I've seen a key. I'm not sure if it's the key. Here, try it and see if it works. Thanks. Okay. Anything else? Nope. I'll see you later. Keep me posted. Now, the good news is that is the key to open up the shed. I'll get to that in the next video. For now, let's uh, continue exploring the Shark Diving Ecotourism Resort. Here we have the international nautical flags. We have a thing about the various bats that you can see on the island, as well as a bat detector. Looks like this thing needs a battery. Ah, but it's all out of batteries. We also have this thing on the monkeys. There's a primate research facility that you'll be visiting later on in this game. These are all the various sounds that the monkeys make. And there's also Sonny June's field research notes. He worked at the uh, primate facility, so he has some notes on the monkeys. And here we have... It's okay. My name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Cuckoo, that's weird. You look just like this bird I met in England named Lulu. So this is the granddaughter of Lulu, the parrot from Nancy Drew, Curse of Blackmore Manor. Cuckoo want a cracker? Okay, it freaked out like that with me too. Probably tired of eating bird seed. Aww, poor cuckoo. I'll see what I can do. We'll have to make sure to get cuckoo some fruit so she doesn't go hungry.